He started his career in 1992 with the Navy Federal Fire Department after serving in the U.S. Army for five years. He would transition to the aircraft rescue and firefighting at the Guam International Airport Authority in 1995, where he would rise through the ranks. In 2016, he was promoted to assistant fire chief. Now, after close to 24 years with ARF, Daniel Stone heads over to the Guam Fire Department as fire chief. It's obvious that the men and women of the Guam Fire Department are already doing exceptional work. Um, so I'm looking forward to the opportunity to meet with the uniform personnel as well as the support staff uh, to try and get a pulse on what's working. Um, I'd like to listen to their ideas and input uh, and we'll go from there. Monday marked his official first day on the job. GFD already has a solid foundation uh, and so I'm looking just to build off of that foundation. Um, so if there are any changes, uh, it will be based off of uh, feedback that I've received from the field. Um, and balancing that against the governor and lieutenant governor's uh, strategic plan, um, as well as maintaining the mission, uh, the primary mission of saving lives and protecting property. One of the first orders of business for the newly appointed fire chief is to meet with the deputy and assistant chiefs. So that I can get spun up on the various uh, missions and capabilities of each of the respective bureaus. Along with fire service, Stone brings a wealth of knowledge and experience that includes a military and law enforcement background. In each of the uniforms I've been blessed to wear, um, they provided me the structure and discipline um, that has helped me immensely in achieving uh, each of the milestones in my life. Um, I was a first sergeant in the Air Force, which was totally focused on taking care of the morale and welfare of my airmen. Stone says upon hearing of his selection, he received an overwhelming amount of support. He says one of the first to call and congratulate him was acting fire chief Joey Sinicholas. He's been very patient with me as far as uh, providing the answers to the questions I've already been asking him. Um, he's provided me with the information uh, that is necessary for me to uh, properly assume my new responsibilities. Items on his priority list? The obvious one would be to identify funding so that GFD can fill the much needed vacancies within the ranks, which includes support staff and 911 dispatchers. I'd also uh, take the information that I've gathered from my site visits and establish uh, work priorities and needs. Um, I would probably also want to find out uh, what the, uh, if any, uh, training vehicle equipment uh, gaps are so that we can work to, to close those gaps. And of course, to, to finalize the RFP for the next generation 911 system so we can get that awarded. As he makes his way to all the stations to formally introduce himself, he does have a message to all those within GFD. Thank you for your commitment and dedication to your chosen profession. Thank you to your families for their continued support. Uh, I look forward to meeting each and every one of you and working together uh, to continue to provide the quality service uh, to the people of Guam. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jonah Gancharfris.